Father, says first, um, I, I'd like to also join hands in a brief prayer. That Father Lord, may Kylian Mbappe never sign for Liverpool. Please, <laughs> please, Father Lord, please. <laughs> please. A forward line of Mbappe at Salah, please, Father, never. Ah, well, that would be killer. Killer. Because Imagine. Salah loves coming in from the right wing anyway. Yeah. Then... Uh, Bappe likes coming from the, the left. left. Yeah. Imagine you put Nunez in the middle. Uh, no! <laughs> Please, let you go to Imagine. Be cool, mm. no. Be cool, no. Father, Lord. Mm. Anyway, so very happy for now, Nia Saka. She's had a lot of travails. And yes, I know I was critical of her in the past, but I really respect what she's done, what she's been. I think what happened to her, you know, too much too soon. And I like the fact that she's bounced back, you know. I mean, she, she, she won. She's four four time Grand Slam mm-hmm. winner, you mm-hmm. know. And uh maybe she just couldn't handle it because what's what's the name of that uh, English girl who has just fallen Other off can. exact fallen off the face. I mean, just I mean you know, so she had her issues, battled through, she's now a mom and everything. And there's something about tennis moms. They're really you know, that combination, you understand, it makes them I think mentally and emotionally tougher and I'm really, really happy for her and I wish her very I wish her well and I hope she can Go deep in the uh, Australian Open. That would, that would be great. Um, Tom Seinfeld is um, a lovely person. One of the best tactical minds on the on African football. On on you know one of the, like he's like um, a Claude Leroy, a younger mm-hmm. version of Claude Leroy. He knows his onions. I I've had the pleasure and privilege of meeting him before. I was introduced to him uh, uh, through Jonathan Apopori. They're good friends. And the guy is sound. He loves Nigerian football. And he would love to nothing more to coach Nigeria, to be honest with you. I thought there was a period where he was in line to get the Supreme He was. Supreme. He would have liked. And he's, he's a sound tactician and strategist. He And he knows the mentality of African players. See what he did with Gambia in the last uh, Cup of Nations and qualified. And watch out for Gambia again this year. So for him to say what he said about the Super Eagles, hey, you know. And then, Femi, I, I had an epiphany yesterday, you know. Uh, we had told you and Aisha and Sidio and we were expressing our doubts about, uh, um, what's his name, Francis Zoho, and some mm-hmm. areas of the team. And everything. But you made a good point. And that's one thing I say on the in sports zone. Nobody has a monopoly of wisdom, one. Yeah. And to know everybody is totally wrong and not everybody is totally right. And you do make a point. The manager lives and dies mm-hmm. on his decisions. Yeah. So for me, it's like, Okay, if Uzoha yeah. starts on 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 Monday the fourteenth, which mm-hmm. is um week after next, whatever, then so be it. Do you it's understand? Monday, fourth, Monday, uh, whatever, Sunday, whenever we start. Sunday. Uh, uh, whenever we start. Do you get my point? It's Sunday. Whenever we start, if that is his choice, whoever he feels, if you like, let him play um Indeed. Indeed. As, a, all, as a central I'll striker. Or uh, similar as a goalkeeper. As a goalkeeper winger. You problem. understand? I think it's time. Let us all sheath our swords yeah. and support the team. Simple. You know, I you know, for me. Yeah. I just thought about because the time for the die is cast. Mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. understand? Yeah. Let us just hope for the mm-hmm. best. I, I like what Tom said. Maybe is he trying to get us to drop our no, guard but, or something? No, but it's, no, no, but it's no, something no, no. I respect. Gambia know they're not in contention for the mm-hmm. title. Mm-hmm. Gambia know they will be knocked out at some point. No, as, as I but said, I'm saying that when you look at we've always said is our strike force is good. No, it's good. It's but that we don't of, have a team. But at the end of the if, if you play the best strikers in the world and you don't feed them the ball or you don't um, like um let me give you an example sorry i'm using united man you as a as a, as a reference point but there was a time when morio morio had good intentions and in fairness to morio he bought lukaku but you know what morio also wanted that season desperately and that's when he started to get grumpy and down tools when he bought lukaku guess who he wanted to buy perisic perisic one of the best crossers of the ball european football left foot right foot the board refused to buy him. I mean, you, you get. So Lukaku came to United and struggled. He scored goals, but he struggles. They couldn't play to his strengths. Lukaku is on my head. Give it to one of the best powerful men in the air in the Premier League. Put the ball on my head. He will nod it in. You play know, the ball in front of me. I roll it to you and blast it. Oh, no, 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 no. You know, you know, a lot of times I think that a coach creates a style that he thinks his team should play. And then puts the pieces together. In our own case, I think our players in front want it to be their style of play. 
that the, every, the team has to adapt to their style. Now, Osimen obviously, so Osimen, we've seen him play for Napoli, but mm. Osimen has Varashkelia, and Varashkelia offers a lot of things in terms of you can drop the ball on the head if mm. I want to. I can give you a true ball. ball that's yes. what I want. I can give you a short pass, ball to fit. And Osimen tries on it because it gives him that small opportunity to mm. look for space. And that's the thing. We don't have players in that mode. So the team must evolve. And that's my own. I'm saying we must always... We speak about Michel Aluze today. Michel Aluze was never a fullback. Was never a fullback. The coach comes and says, go and play fullback. And she followed the instructions. And to be fair to her, she's done a decent mm. job mm. in that position. We need to respect our coaches. We've given you the job, right? Go and get it done. If you fail, you will now review and say... But for us, I've heard many people... And I, yesterday, Mr. Montosho said it again. And I'm like, look... You are, you are saying I'm going to say this man has failed already. He has not even started. Mm. Let him go first. Because we gave Eguavon the chance here. And mm. even though I didn't agree with Eguavon's appointment, as I said, we're going to support you. Oh, yeah, go. Mm. When we had draw, the same thing I said, oh, yeah, go. Because the truth about it is, once I've given you that opportunity or that responsibility, that responsibility. Mm. automatically I should, if not, I'll go and do the job now. If not, mm. me and Mr. Moto should go and do the job. Mm. By the time we sit down on the, uh, the coaching bench together, we're like, mm. okay. Please, I want to ask you a question and I want mm-hmm. to an honest answer. Will you promise to answer me oh, honestly? Sure, what is Kyle still doing there? He's watching videos. <laughs> <laughs> He's watching more videos. <laughs> All right. Um, we, so we're just surprised, but you're here. Yeah, yeah. And it's quiet. The other yeah, side. He's watching videos. No, I'm, I'm busy doing something. He's watching so. vides. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> he just, he just the camera this way. Uh, he just he, wants to bask in the glow of our presence. No, so I, 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 I wasn't even listening to you. I was doing something the very uh, uh, okay. uh, smart, you know, inter- smart, intellectually yeah. stimulating. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. okay. Mm. About the dogs and how much. <laughs> so that's it you see for me because i've heard people say oh the midfield is not I'm like look the man has picked now while we can ask them i raise i raise the issue of oh stories about unwabili moving to europe mm. but like again i'm saying that look i trust the manager we've given that responsibility mm. if you fail tell me i'm not don't get I'm, I'm not fully on board i'm just saying i'm not gone i've the, not gone far, the NFF, far to your own chair no no but the nff it. said you have a requirement. What's the requirement for him? Is it make win the nations cup or I, I can't I know, remember? Allah. Let's go there. For first. me, as I said, I'm not going to complain about anything. Let the boys go to Dubai, meet up, train. Let the guy put them through his paces. Hopefully, they get his tactics and uh, mm-hmm. uh, he deploys his strategy. And then when we file it, file out against Equatorial Guinea, you know, we shall see. My it's, only it's requirement for see. Pacero is lock things up defensively. Defensively, because. We blame the goalkeeper a lot, and I agree. The goalkeeper is the last line of defense. But defensively, we allow those balls get to the goalkeeper. The reason why we talk about some teams going playing great is because defensively, you have to lock it first tight. Yeah, you know, we don't do, concede if, goals. Don't, no, but uh, yes, I agree. Don't concede. But you see, you defend from the front. I, you see, when you watch these ex footballers talk, mm-hmm. I mean, that's the reason they're there because they're talking from. Stuart Pierce said something on uh, after the United game on Sunday. Peter Schmack, uh, and I love Peter Schmack. Before the game, he said he could absolutely not predict which man, and he was right. I was busy beating Chelsea. Man, you go do this there, good. But the minute I didn't see this boy at the Hoyland, and ah, well, all that day, rush up there, I knew I would have called you there. Tell me, I changed my prediction. In fact, that's what I should have done before the game. No, me, yes, I could no, have done before the no, game. Before no, the game, I could have changed no, it. The then, whole world has heard you uh, uh, say, "Man, you to win." Uh, get out. If I now come back and I say you have changed it, then after we come back, we we'll go through our predictions. Oh, like yes, I spoke to Charles yes. yesterday. It says he only got one, so. <laughs> <laughs> we need to talk to you. <laughs> I hope you got zero. Um, no, I didn't get zero. I okay. didn't get zero. Uh, so, um, so uh, what he said was the mark of a team that is committed to their manager. I can't. I'm paraphrasing him here. Is when there's a counter attack. Mm-hmm. Do you understand? And all of a sudden, the ball is turned over, mm-hmm. and you you face mm-hmm. an attack on that count. How many of your of the front five are still in the other half? That at at worst it shouldn't be more than one. That is all the other players should be running back, back to cover to cover, and by the time you have more than one, like two, three, four, mm-hmm. five, you have a problem. Yes. There's an imbalance because the front players are not defending. You know, but, but you know, for national team football, it's a little different, and that's what we used to say because a lot of times people compare club and national team. In national team football, from your club, you're coming with a different Liverpool, for example. Salah has pressing. But does Mustafa Mohammed have the same from Nantes? Is it the same mindset as God's that am I supposed to press when I'm not with the ball? So I'm saying that for national team, it's a little... And that's why I... Understand. I don't think there's no team, even Argentina, there's no team that can afford to carry more than one player. Maybe Portugal, Ronaldo, Argentina, Messi. 
France, 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 France to Bep. There's no team, which is what there's no team that can afford to carry more, more than, than one, one player. Passenger. Every in modern football, everybody presses. In modern football, Very it's true. a team game. Very true. So Very true. it's not good enough Very for us to sit and blame the defense. Leave us if Osimhen mm. says, "Okay, I will stand." All the people behind Osimhen, they have to come back. They have to start pressing. They have to start so pressing. So will be if we lose the ball, Chukwu is zero. Everybody, everybody has to come back. And, and I remember what Super Bowl was like. Boy, you see mm-hmm. the lights of Chico, just strolling out, standing, most mm-hmm. standing. I've seen games like that. Yeah, but that also brings us to the question of leadership. Who is on the pitch of play saying you? So when John Terry came to Nigeria to play that novelty with mm. Roberto Carlos, I saw the game, and I remember one of the things Terry did playing with the MPF. Did you actually talk to him? Oh yes, he was here. Okay, we had we had a couple. Mm-hmm. It was very they were very great people. Roberto Carlos wasn't much of an English person, but yeah, Terry was. Him, yeah. And then when I saw the game. And in that game, he was practically coaching the players on, while they were playing. The so it was Tim Terry against Tim Carlos. No, but he was always up to, one of his biggest attributes mm-hmm. was his was the likes of Roy Keane, yeah. the likes of uh, um, Vieira, mm-hmm. was the ability to communicate with them communicate. on the pitch. He was practically coaching the NPFL players. I thought, I don't you know when NPFL went to Budi Bo to the other side. Like, mm-mm, don't rush. Mm-mm. Let's keep passing, and let's keep passing. Obviously, they won the game, but they were passing, taking their time. Oh yeah, move it here. Oh yeah, he will even point. Go here, go here, go here. The same way we see Van Dyke do it for Liverpool, mm. and that's why I say leadership is very important it is. for our national team. We need to start building leaders. So when I want to say, look here, this way, let's build. This is the mm. way we're going to build. Even mm. if it don't come through you. Oh, I know that. Oh, for example, oh, Victor Boniface is better on the ball on the left, and once he gets the ball, he's going to look for me. So automatically send it to Boniface. Mm. Let Boniface get it, and then run into channel. I hope the coach gets it right. Or like something like said. if he's dodgy, but something just go and give me a slap <laughs> on the beat. Ah, they cross the ball. Well, I feel that a lot of times he does. He's not vocal enough. Mm. He has to be vocal on the pitch because yeah. you are arguably one of the most senior players there. Yeah, he is Guys, one of this is what we should and I, do. And I think he will make it very good, super good. I've always rooted for him to super good captain. But yeah, that's a good one. That's Sorry good. One. Let's see. Second day of the year, second day of the year. What, what are, what are, I was going to say, what are our customers uh, thinking? <laughs> what are listeners thinking? Kari will not, as if she be as if he's to leave now. He's just, he's just enjoying himself. Kari, it's okay. Kari, for me, but for Ghana, missing party is a big thing. No, okay, let's story. talk about part. What happened to him? Even it's the injury. The, miss, the, the missing man in Arsenal. It's the injury. Um, the coach said that's um, Chris, Chris Hutton said, mm. this is the worst injury he's had. This is the biggest injury he's had. So they need to give him time to recuperate. Could it be age related? Possible. Who mm. knows? Possible. I'm not going to say that because I'm just, just going to say, say that. Yes. Say, that question we asked. But he has been out for, even for us, not team for a long time this yeah, year. Yeah, he's, so. he's been out even from the tail end of last year. He was yeah, kind of yeah. out of favor, then injury. I remember Thomas Party was like integral to everything. Was that one of the best center, as in central midfielder, defensive midfielder mm. in the Premier League at some mm-hmm. point? Mm-hmm. So uh, somebody who was one of the best last year, all of a sudden is it's not. Just former, it's just former. But then Almost it's like just Casimiro injuries. This season as yeah, well. just injuries. Mm. So I just hope that he gets better. But Casemiro's zone is, is age related as well. No? It is. I'm not saying it's. Do you understand? I mean, Real Madrid has to be the cleverest <laughs> and smartest club in the world. No. In fact, there's a saying that um, beware of two clubs, the European football, or three clubs. Beware of Dortmund if they want to buy one of your players. You understand? Mm-hmm. That means that there's something there's potential, there. potential, yeah. There's potential. Then if, whenever Bayern or. Real Madrid want to sell you a player. Do remember when Bayern sold to the United Bastian Schweinsteiger? He was finished. One of the best midfielders in world football. By the time he came to United, he was a crock. He was injury fantastic. I love Sebastian Schweinsteiger. Brilliant player. They done it to us twice. They sold us Varane, one of the best central defenders. He gets Europe. paid good money. 14, over 40. I, 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 even now, that's why they don't reduce his comment. He's on uh, to, to around 40k a week. I think that's one of the reasons why United want to cut them because by here they want to give Evans and the others. Yeah, one year. And they even uh, what's his name? The Lindelof. Lindelof uh, a new contract, contract extension. So it's like, I think what they want to do is they're giving Varane the opportunity. It's like, do you want to mm-hmm. go somewhere else or you take a, a, you know, a, a pay cut? Uh, you know. But and it, then, it's smart to reduce the pay wave, reduce the, no, wage the wage bill. Way, of course. And then offload some of those I players mean, that are not Casemiro, Casemiro gave us one good season, and after then. But that's not enough. Uh, and that's it. Million. Of course, it's not good enough. Real Madrid saw it. Yes, I well, mean, and look, and what have they done? They have um, all this uh, belly. Uh, Kamavinga. Kamavinga, all these young, Valvede, young boys. They put them right there. <laughs> yeah. Okay, all right. Howdy. Thank you very much.
The time spent here is no. Let's let's leave him. This starts what he wants. Let's remember the new year. Let's let's be nice to him. I know, but he's stressing. I can't read messages this mm. way. He's just, uh, what are you saying? No, well, we're just saying he's a very great person. Mm. But that yesterday's football fixture, by the way, was great. VAR. But that's another conversation for another mm. day. Uh, Mr. Cardinal from Yaba says the difference between Arsenal and other contenders in the league is quality from the bench. That was evident in Liverpool's win last night when their subs turned around the game. But Arsenal and Ateta want to win the league with the same set of players playing every minute without quality options from the bench to change and win yeah, games. I think um, Ateta needs to rotate a bit more. Rotate who for who? Um, what what's I mean? What's going on with Smith Rowe? It's just. Superior in top well, Smith Roll, there's number one, Smith Roll, the in terms of transition, he can't play as a winger because he's not as quick as the guys who normally play. He's not mm. as quick as Martinelli or Saka. Maybe, or give, maybe give Vieira a bit more game time. Uh, that's how I agree. Mm. Uh, that's how I agree. But then Vieira will be up against, if, I, if I'm correct, the Kai Havertz. The quality of Havertz, mm. it's... Uh, for me, I think the only area... Martinelli seems to have dropped. Maybe he's tired. Sakatsu is Saka not is tired. Even though he scored quite a few goals as yeah. Bonner yesterday, but he seems tired. Odegaard looks tired. Uh, Odegaard looks tired. I mean, they played at such a high level last season, yeah. you know. And this experiment with uh, David uh, uh, Raya. Raya, is it working? You know, I think it is. Really? I think that Raya, Raya has his mistakes as, like every other goalkeeper mm-hmm. does, but I think he'll come good at the end of the day. I think people are just being unnecessarily... I think because he's British, because... There's an example. That, yeah, there's an example for Manchester City. Now, for this season, and I stand to be corrected. I think Alvarez has played every game. Julian Alvarez. He started off as a right winger, and then when De Bruyne got injured, he played in De Bruyne's position. Mm. And now Haaland is injured. He's playing in Haaland's position. Mm. So the question I asked was: If everybody is fit again, what happens to Alvarez? Mm. Because now Folden has played a lot from the right, and Folden has made mm. that his position. Doku, if he comes back, plays from the left. Where does Alvarez go? But to? that's the beauty of City squad. You know, you have players that can come in and do it off the bench. So that's my point. Is Alvarez multifunctional? Alvarez players. is their number one creator in terms of assists. He has the most assists, most crosses into the box. He's done most big chances created. The only thing is second is goal scored behind Haaland. Haaland. So when everybody's fit, is he going to go back to the bench? Are you going to send Fold into the bench? Because De Bruyne, well as you once he hits 100, is running. Mm. Haaland, nobody benches Haaland. So where do you put Alvarez? But however, because an Englishman is playing, folding, no one has touched that story. Everybody has just dribbled past it. No, for them, uh, uh, Pep does. Uh, Pep does talk about his sentimental. So look at what he did to Calvin Phillips now. No being by him, hey, but by he's him. not giving. He's not giving him the time of day. I tell you what. If everybody's fit and he feels Alvarez will do a better job than Foden, he'll bench for I think Alvarez does a better job. And then you bench him. Pep, Pep no send. I give him that. You know, he has, and he has the balls to back it up. He has the record. But what do you think about Liverpool's performance yesterday? I think, look, I think Liverpool have been actually super this season. I think they're not getting enough credit because the only defeat on Liverpool's CV is that defeat to Spurs. Which we all was know how, hugely controversial yes. with nine men anyway. Yes. And even then, even mm-hmm. then it was an old goal for Matip, yeah. you know. Even they've games fought, that Liverpool drew. Last. Because you mentioned that, oh, Liverpool drew against Luton Town or Liverpool drew against Arsenal because that game at Anfield, mm-hmm. Liverpool should have killed that game. Um, Liverpool against Luton Town, that's a game they should have lost. I think Liverpool, Liverpool has... 80 points from losing to the most of the Premier League. So, they never from, so it just tells you that they're coming from behind. Mm. They had that spirit. They will mm. fight. I mm. like the leadership in in Liverpool because there's Salah in front, there's Van Dijk at the back, there's Alisson in goal. The guys in midfield, yeah, uh, Subo Sly, I know. They, Subo Sly is a brilliant oh, player. Goodness. Oh my God. That's, oh my you see, that's um, that's Klopp's genius. Subo oh, Sly, brilliant player. He's, he's a good player. He's Hungarian, isn't he? Yeah. He's played oh. every game this season for Liverpool. Oh, he's absolutely brilliant, isn't League. he? Oh, and God. then look at what he's done with Trent Alex. Everybody would really love Trent. That boy is a bundle of talent. No, but he made a conscious effort because before, Trent could not defend to save his life. Uh, Jonas, but this year, Trent has evolved in terms of you're still playing as a creative hub. Sorry if I always go back to Manchester for my rep. But you think in Manchester, you have players like Anthony, for instance. Forget Anthony is not a bad player. Um, Anthony has not scored he a goal. He has not clicked so into hold the on team. A sec. He hasn't scored a goal or had a single assist. So we have players He's saving himself. We have, <laughs> we have players who are literally value. I don't want to use that word useless, and, and I'm, mm-hmm. I do apologize. It's not something I should say. Nobody's ever useless, but their value is minimal. Anthony's value is little or nothing because you offer nothing. 
you know, you, you, you look at the team. In fact, the two changes, I knew when I saw United's um, lineup and the, after the first 10 minutes that we're not get any, going to get anything from that because actually offers nothing. Oh, it is well. It's good. But Liverpool, that the question for Liverpool is how did they manage without Salah? That's a very good question. That's it. But uh, uh, Diego Jota is coming back into form. Well, yes. And they've got um, this uh, Dutch boy. They've got a couple of Dutch Gapo. boys. Uh, Gapo and Gravenberg. And Gravenberg, and they're both goal scorers. Yeah. In fact, Liverpool scored quite a few goals from midfield. The back closest. Come back. Yeah, but the closest to Salah, obviously, is Jota. Salah has what? Mm. I think after yesterday, he has about 17 goals or 18 goals in Salah all. Salah is just. Salah is a machine. In fact, Pichu and I, you see, there's, I don't, I can't remember that saying, but it's, it's, that is not as, it's not as you they sell that matters, but how you they buy. You know, what matters how, if you can get a product that everybody else buys it for 20 naira, but you can buy it for 8 or 9, you understand, then obviously you already, you've got value already. Now, who would have ever thought Salah they bought Salah for 35 million pounds that's a great buy uh, seven years ago and he's been banging goals from literally I think he's already in the top 10 for record goal scorers in the Premier League he's closing in it's, on number it's 9 it's crazy so you know and other clubs and, and I think Pep has it to look at how Aguero who would have thought Aguero was not really seen as all that no, but wasn't Pep about that wasn't Pep about Aguero but I mean City got him you understand yeah. You I know? think Pep's sign, first signing was, I think it was Walker. Walker's done well. Walker, yeah. Even talking about, I mean, in fact, so you have to give it to... Who was before for Pe- example, let's even... Uh, Pellegrini. Pe- but for example, talk about Alvarez. Alvarez. Look at what Pep did for Alvarez. Uh, 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 so, you know, Doku. You know, mm-hmm. you know, it, it's just... I Rodri. Mean, Rodri. Man. Um, uh, Bernardo Silva. Ah, Bernardo. Bernardo mm. Silva. That guy, uh, Gudugan. So, yeah. they, you know, t- multi technical, multifunctional, creative. They can they can defend, they can press, they can pass. So even done to John they Stones. can score, they can do has everything. Evolved. John Stones has evolved from a defender to a center, to a creative John Stones, to a creative center. Even that guy that Pep lead, that um, left back that Pep fell out, the Portuguese guy. Cancelo. Cancelo. Ah, that's awesome. Cancelo with the time was brilliant. And I think that's, I think they're struggling. For no Cancelo this year, because number one, Vardiol doesn't Ooh. offer as much mm. because he's a centre back. One and two, uh, there's a creativity doesn't. But hey, when you buy a player that brings so much more than even you bargain for, uh, but the Subway Club they take bath. Uh, I beg me in that this one. <laughs> All right, so um, let me just finish up this message. It says the okay, I think I'm thinking that say Arsenal should learn and improve. Mr. Cardinal from Yaba, thank you for your message. Um, Kyle Diadidiji from Ikorudu says, uh, Good morning, uh, people. Happy New Year to us all. Thank God we are all here today. Wishing Amen. the Super Eagles the very best at AFCON later this month. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Francis from Lagos says, Mbappe, Salah, Nunes will have same issue with Mbappe, Messi, and Neymar. Uh, two non markers leaving empty spaces for opponents to run riots. This is made worse with an Arnold. That lacks defensive quality. Francis from Lagos. Francis, that's a very um, technical. Um, I like that. I mean, I, mean, no, but I don't think. I think Salah covers. Salah tracks back. But, a yeah, lot. Salah tracks back. I think, Salah, have you seen I, I Salah's think, defensive work? I think. I think Salah. Yeah. I don't. I don't think Klopp will tolerate a player that just wants to. I don't think Klopp tolerates prima donnas. I think it's about mm-hmm. the coach as well. Yeah. Yeah. If he's a ten high, who doesn't know anything? Yeah, you know, probably just you know just. All right, so there's a question here about the AFCON. Will, at least at this moment, will AFCON be shown on DSTV or GoTV? At this moment, the answer my brother, is... Yeah. The very fact that they're not doing mm-hmm. promos. I know my people. Mm-hmm. If they are training, they will, in fact, you are aware, the promos Everybody would have been running. Live. So it so, scares me. The promos would have been running. So you At get, this moment, no. Ah, well, I, it may we change, Joe. Ah, at this moment, no. I think it's on the other... Um, um, I think I know it's on a couple of games on AfroSports. We don't have Afro Sports. That one I know it will be so that means they'll be on Afro Sports, yes. It is well. Um we've also got this one. Yemi for me Bedjuleki says, Happy New Year, guys. May this year bring great tidings. Super Sly Amen. picked up a hamstring injury last night. Who that? Super Sly. Oh dear. Oh dear. Mm. Yemi, I read your message. So which one is if you like no read my message? <laughs> eh? If you send a message early, I will read it. Mm. Where's Aisha's message? <laughs> 
It has not come yet. Okay. Yes. Once it drops, I read it. Read it. And, then it, and it drops early. Yeah. Um, this one says, Ikegunua was Pep's first buy for Manchester City. Yeah, okay. from Dortmund. Mm. All right. Uh, this one here, Kwelanski says, um, be, beside building chemistry within the team, another thing West Ham did was use Keshi to build charisma, character into the team. Even player feared Keshi, though some stubborn players like Siasia were there, Sha, but Keshi couldn't manage them. There's no chemistry in our Super Eagles, no character, just players there are no charismatic players that can provide leadership. There's something no coach since West Ham has been able to instill that's because they don't even have it now this player play for money not glory play great players play for glory then the money follows Messi Ronaldo Maradona Zizou even Keshi cried like a baby when Nigeria first qualified for World Cup these days these players just go back to their clubs we need coaches that want to walk not coaches that are looking for work <sighs> who sent that message Kwelanski Kwelanski um, good message good message um I have the honor and pleasure. Break? No, 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 no. Okay. I'm trying. I'm trying to analyze this message because oh. it's for and it's against. But yeah, but I just want to talk. Keshi was charismatic. I was. You walk into leader. a room. You walk into a room with big boss. He was quiet. He mm-hmm. never raised his voice. He used to speak slowly. Like it used to draw. Mm-hmm. He was a fantastic guy. He had presence. He was tall. He was. Built, it was solid, 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 solid guy, Stephen Keshi, you know. So, yeah, and had, and everybody called him Big Boss. That was it, you know. They, every, they had, even when he, you know, when he used to come to Super Sport to do all of the things, the way Danny, Daniel, and uh, very stubborn guys, and Victor, mm-hmm. the paper, mm-hmm. uh, then they, you know, Bros. Uh, then they bow, uh, then they bow, you understand. So, hey, so I get it. Do we have so, such dominant figures in the Super Eagles right now? I don't think so. I'm happy I met Musa is there. Maybe behind the scenes he can. But charismatic players, I'm sorry, this this young bunch. Osinema could get there, maybe. Because um, I met Osinema before. I met him in South Africa or something. But he was up and coming then. I think that was in 2018, 2019. I think Moses Simon also has those qualities. Yeah. He's not there yet, but I think he has the qualities. Moses Simon is too... You know, uh, his final ball, his... Uh, set piece of, yeah, no, but beyond... Look, you are saying, you're speaking about... I'm saying the level, the charisma of a player, the sort of responsibilities we've seen players take. I think he has that... We know True Stekong, we're Fred and Gigi. I think he has I that... Really, I, I don't really... I don't... Where I don't agree with Kwelanski's summation is on the coach. While I agree a lot of players play for... These days, players are powerful, more powerful than even coaches. Mm. So, there's nothing the coach is going to say. If the players are not going to play as a team, there's mm. nothing you will do. You will shout, shout, shout. I'm not saying there's enough reason that, okay, no. I'm saying that it's difficult to get play because you just mentioned Nigeria lost to Ghana and we didn't even hear the players walking about because all that chaos, the players could have stopped the chaos. Mm. They could have just come out and put their hands up that, look, we, we are sorry, we failed you. Let's did I not talk about when, they, when, when we lost to France in, in Brasilia, they just walked off the pitch. We had, all, all they needed to do Guys travel from all over the world to watch mm-hmm. that game. B- traveling in Brazil, you fly for five, six hours, and the supporters' club was traveling by bus. The supporters' club was spending. I bow for those guys, Ralph Ladi Postlat. You travel for two days to get to a match venue, then you lose finish. You just walk out, come up pitch. Come on now. It's something we. It's a. It's for me. It starts from the NFF. Yeah. It's a culture that we need to, to. We, we need to like, look. I mean, look at our twenty thirteen winning side, for instance. Spine, Enyama, Mikel Obi, uh, who else was? Efe Ambrose. Mm-hmm. Uh, these are cute, uh, Efe, solid guy. V- uh, Vincent, if you say, uh, Vincent, very softly spoken, mm-hmm. but he, en- he, he emanates confidence. Mm-hmm. Mikel Obi is Mikel Obi. You mm-hmm. understand? So, so there's a sprinkle of yeah, was them too, was there. Onazi. Onazi also had Onazi, Onazi, qualities, yeah. Onazi, Onazi, Onazi had was, in fact... Onazi's exit mm-hmm. against France lost us that game. Yeah. And they tell Onazi was well spoken, driving the team. I mean, there were players now. In as much as we they looked to that 2013, I, I don't want to say they looked them low eye because they were not as star dusted, so to speak, as the 1980 and 90. Or as the 2023 team. What now? 2023. We have star power in this 2023 uh, no, team. No, no, they're, they're yet to do it for the nation. Uh, uh, I agree. Mm, but mm. star power, I'm saying that. 2013 until they did it for how the many nation. of them are genuinely charismatic how many of them are genuinely charismatic how many 
as a car you look at them is oh, it i don't any i don't want to i don't want to say it anything let I'm, us i just focus on the stars mm -hmm. the stars we have this year are plenty star is not just doing it for your club star is doing it for your nation a star is not just sitting on your bench in your club too mm. because one of our stars in 2013 was sitting on the bench which one which one uh, let me read my message. Uh, so, mm -hmm. not to you remember the name. <laughs> no, I remember the name. But I've the name, called you out. <laughs> but the, name, the name will not come up from my mouth. <laughs> so. Dami from Moe says, Good morning to you guys in the studio. We're friends in the Dan Kilichi Hanacho are injured ahead of the AFCON. We need in the D more, especially in the midfield for the Super League who's going to AFCON. Uh, this story is true, but the NFF so far said both players will report to camp. So it means that probably it's a minor injury that mm. it should be fit before the Cup of Nations. Um, if they were going to replace the players, I think they have until tomorrow mm. to replace those players. Well, um, Ihana Cho too has that mercurial talent too. Ihana Cho is someone that has an eye for a pass. Mm -hmm. You know, he can he can play you a very good through ball, a cue pass. That is left foot. He has a one or take it a shot from just outside the box and bend it to the net. But you know, it's it. But he's not. You see, my problem with our boys is the consistency. But say, hey, agreed. Mm, agreed. 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 Um, so there's another question here coming through ahead of the Cup of Nations. Uh, it says, uh, Wale from Ikorudu, Happy New Year, Uncle Shegun. Will there be VAR available at AFCON? I, I yes. will assume so. Yes, there yes, is. Uh, there yes, there is. Yes, there is. Uh, yes, there will be. There yes, will there be. Is. You can't but have VAR. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, I'm sure we'll have VAR. Mm. Good morning, sir. Mm -hmm. My name is EU. That's what she puts his name. Is it disrespectful the way Uncle Shegun talks about my youth coach? To me, no. <laughs> yes, I don't. Since uh, before, I would have said he's useless, but now I'll just say he has no value. Mm. Because he tells yet. lies, and I don't like people that tell lies. Mm. How can you say that Scott McTominay was our fault for those two goals? I don't understand. Mm. What? Uh, Okbo Lua Samasa sends a message. It says, Is it my biased mindset that you guys prefer mentioning DSTV, Go TV? To start time to Afro Sports ETC. No, you just mentioned them. You mentioned Afro Sports. I wonder that. I know I cannot say start times because I'm not sure. Mm. But I'm sure it's I on Afro Sports. Yes. Afro, 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 Afro I am sure it's on Afro Sports. I'm telling you because mm. I am sure. Mm. I know it is not on DSTV. Mm. At least at this moment. But guys, for us to be able to watch the <laughs> thing now, you understand? I Me, mean, I want to watch it too. And I know yeah. that Afro Sports, you can stream it. Mm. So if you have a streaming platform as well, what I mean streaming uh, platform? And I want to watch it in comfort with no yeah. stress and hear. I want to hear clear and concise commentary. You understand? And yeah. good decent. Ah, I have time. And oh, uh, anyway, no whatever worry. we make of our team selection, we'll enjoy our golden bronze last last. My guy, let let us just play. Let, let's play. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Happy New Year. Same to you. My name is Chief Darling. Chief, Happy New Year. <laughs> so, happy New Year. Good morning, guys. Chief. Happy New Year. Wonderful job you're doing. Uh, Shebo. Yes, Chief. When I hear you speak, sometimes I am moved to tears. Mm. When you talk about what the Nigerian Football Supporters Club normally experience in mm. terms of suffering mm. when they go to support the national team, mm. uh, people really do not understand, except for those of us who are either physically present today, mm. who see beyond what the camera projects. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It has been very painful. A sad one for the Nigerian Football Supporters Club. But right now, as I speak with you, that is in the 12th player on the pitch each time the Super Eagles plays. True that. Whether the Super Eagles is doing well or not, mm. you'll find the Nigerian Football Supporters Club dancing out. To the end. Sweating. Mm. That is part of what they know how to do best. Mm. Motivating these players, whether they do well or not. Why they go back to their hotels in Soro? Sometimes they travel over five hours trying to get to a match venue mm. from one point to the other. Why the Super Eagles will simply fly to their venue? Mm. These same people sometimes are not given recognition. Let me tell you the most painful part of it now. The Super Eagles will be uh, 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 playing at the next Nations uh, Cup at Côte d'Ivoire. The return ticket for uh, one person, averagely unconfirmed, is about 800000 Wow. From Nigeria uh, to and fro, return wow. ticket. Wow. From Nigeria. And the Super Eagle, the Nigerian Football Supporters Club is planning to storm Cote d'Ivoire with about 300 supporters. Now, as I speak with you, uh, uh, Shago, how many Nigerians have come up to say they want to support this same 12th player on the pitch mm. to travel to Cote d'Ivoire? Do you know what it will mean if the Nigerian Football Supporters Club are not present at that competition? Mm. 
Do you know how much painful it will be to the players, mm. to FIFA and to CAF? I want to use this medium to appeal to Nigerians who are hearing my voice this morning. The Nigerian Football Supporter Club need your support at this moment. All right, support sir. them whichever way you want to support them so that they can go there and cheer up this this lackadaisical players <laughs> to do well and they put it put put smiles on the faces of the rest of us Nigerians. Mm. Oh. Please, Nigerians, help the, the Nigerian Football Supporters Club. Right. Raise funds for them right. so that they can travel. All so right. Thank you so much. Duly noted, Chief. Thank you so much. Yes. And uh, a it, clarion call. Chief was campaigning for the Supporters Club. Yeah. But, and, and as I said, they deserve every piece of sponsorship help they can get. I wish, you know, if Chief could send us something, there's a website, if there's something that people can reach out to, please. We'd love to propagate it. Those guys, I've seen it. I've seen it myself several times. They are often the difference between defeat and victory. And there's nothing when you hear that constant. And I'm in the most <sighs> crazy place in Congo, in Ethiopia, crazy places. Ah oh, man, those guys have come through for the Eagles and us. Good morning. Good, good, good morning, Uncle Shagun. Good morning, Mister Motoshow. Honestly, I don't want to greet your colleague again. Uh, <laughs> so Good morning, Mr. Motoshon. Uh, my name is Richard Motoshon. Mm. Yeah, our, our players lack attitude. The uh, 2002 World Cup, I learned that when they were leaving the hotel that they launched, in all the staff in that hotel gave them guard of honor. Gave them guard of honor. Mm. Gave them of honor. Mm. Not player among those players who clap for those, uh, those times like this, mm. but one of the journalists are for them. They say, we need to do a common sense. So, all these people gave me that of honor, we cannot even clap for them. Mm. So, I appreciate this kind of venture. I don't know, I don't know. So, I will pray around. I think I'll join my voice with Sudan King. Please say, Nigeria has come out and support the support us club. But I, I, I assume. There is something that the should do to the day today. To the assistant that they are going to any any colonel like this. Is that true or not? No. I don't yeah. support to get anything from at least. Maybe she will actually support them. Mm. To go and share the news up. I think it's that just they are going to share up. Okay. So I join voice with that you don't need your Nigerians who are ready. Come to come to their aid so okay. that they won't uh, the English won't say because they don't have I don't see them doing that. Out of the group. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> I thought you would just let it slide. All right, I will not let it slide because <laughs> I'm going to wait for Mr. Motor Show when we finish the group fees. By God's grace. But uh, what I'll say is that, yeah, I think the, the Eagles need to be more connected to their fans. I, 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 I I'm agree. not happy. I've seen it myself. I've I seen agree. that disconnect and I don't like I it. And I pray that they change. Because football, like you said, is a very passionate When we're sport. going to play Ethiopia, I was there and my hotel was opposite Super Eagles Hotel. The supporters club was there you know, playing. You know what's even annoying? That, oh, that, hold there on, are many... tell me. A lot of the players just walked into the bus. It was Efe Ambrose that was... That's why, I, from that day, I fell in love with Efe Ambrose. A yeah. lot of the players just looked down and, and it's like, why? For the few times I covered the Eagles... These guys are not... They're not in new sense now. For the few times I covered the Eagles, there there's a program for every match game, including mm. that walk before match mm. the, before the game, right? And then I remember a few of those times when I covered the walk and I'm not seeing them... We went to Kaduna. I was in the game for Kaduna. I've been in the game for Lagos. And I'm not seeing you... Yes. Now, um, it's, it's like us and there's almost an us and them mentality. Yes, it's like, you know what? We're, and we're we. super Eagles players. I, it's, and, a, it's a mental yeah. mindset. And maybe if you don't have that, that, maybe if you don't, cannot connect with your fans. And that's why I blame the NFL for it. Yes, I did, because I just something. mentioned to you what I listened last year, Talk Sports. It was Southgate. Southgate explained that they had to, it was a conscious effort. They must do so. And they had to do that. Okay, they want the average fans to be able to say, Saka, oh, I know Saka. Saka is this, 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 this. Say a lot of things about these players without even seeing the player. Ah. Connect to these players. Ah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to say, but a lot of times, it's, always, it's like they look down on the, you know, they made them want beg us money or something. Don't do that. Oh well. No, don't well. do that. I don't like it. Let's yeah. More calls. Happy, happy New Year. 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 Yeah. Happy New Year. Good morning, the boys. I'm like. Hey, Damilari, what's up? Damilari right, did not come when they lost to him. Hey, it's two days hey, after he not come. Happy, 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 happ
Oh God, Amri, what's going on, man? Great on you, yeah. Keep your new year for Ateta. No, me, I say this now. Ateta house. No, 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 no. Well structured. It should be a it should be a business that is well structured. 